Hey, good morning. Pastor Harvey Beck at Lester Memorial United Methodist Church. We're glad you're joining us this morning for our Wednesday devotion. This is July the 7th, 2021. I want to share something with you that um, you already know, and I already know, but the Holy Spirit has to remind me of it because we humans are forgetful people, even, even we who ought to know better, me, I'm talking about. The, the beauty and the power and the, and the need, the beauty, the power, and the need for worship and for praise. Um, go back and I want to remind you of Psalms 100. Make a shout, joyful shout unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. And then it says to come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and we're the sheep of his pasture. So he, he's told us to come before his presence with singing. So singing is a part of praise and worship. And then in verse four, he, he tells us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. A powerful psalm, an easy one to remember, Psalms 100. I go to it often because it reminds me of the beauty and the power and the need for worship and for praise. And what can happen is that when we get into the presence of God, there is healing, there's strength, there is gladness. We begin to worship and praise him. This happened to me over this last week. There were a couple of things that happened. Most recent was Monday night at our Celebrate Recovery, July the 5th. So many people were celebrating the 4th on Monday because many places were off. And so we didn't know who all would be at Celebrate Recovery Monday night. So the leadership decided to just have the praise band and they had talked. And so they decided to do extra sets of just praise music. We had someone share their testimony but we just lengthened our praise and worship time. So they sang a set of songs, three or four, had a testimony, and then we did three or four more songs. So we literally, I think we had at least seven songs. There might've been eight, but I needed it. I, the set that they chose was just beautiful praise music. And uh, all the way through the first set and the last set was more of just coming into the presence of God. It was like, Psalm 100, and uh, just by worshiping God, raising my hands and glorifying him, I realized how much I needed that. And even though I know that, I know what the word God says in Psalm 100, but, but we have to make time and be in those places where we allow it to happen because God's open for us to worship and praise him at any time. And so as I was there praising the Lord and listening to others praise and glorify him, I, I felt like the need was there for all of us. And uh, so God just blessed to move. It gave me strength. It gave me encouragement, gladness, come before the Lord with gladness, uh, just simply by being in the presence of God. Uh, another thing that happened this past week, and we had a funeral yesterday. And again, it was emphasized even in the funeral that we had of a lady at our church, Miss Buckaloo. And uh, she passed away last week, but as she was in medical intensive care at St. Vincent's East last week, the family knew that her time draweth nigh, but the family is a singing family. And so as they gathered in the medical intensive care unit, the family began to sing songs. They had like a two hour session almost of singing to their mother, uh, their wife, but also all that music began to just go out into the medical intensive care unit. And Mr. Buckaloo Howe shared with me that, you know, they, they truly believe they blessed and touched a lot of the staff uh, who also just needed to hear and sense people praising and glorifying God because there is, there is beauty, there is power, and there is need for worship and praise wherever it may occur. And so, Many of the family and the grandchildren have beautiful voices and they just sang and they glorified God. And that's the way Cossie just left from this earth, praising and glorifying God and went on to the next. 
So when we had her funeral yesterday, there was a lot of music. Uh, there were several songs that the choir, our chancel choir, sang three or four songs. Uh, Logan, her grandson, sang a beautiful song that I love. And then we, we closed the service with, I don't know if you're familiar with the song, The Blessing. I encourage you to look it up. Now, it comes from... It, it comes from Numbers, the sixth chapter. You remember, it's a blessing that Aaron and Moses, the, the Aaron, the priests, were to proclaim this blessing over Israel. But oftentimes at United Methodist Youth Fellowship for years, we quote this and probably don't perhaps know where it comes from. Numbers 6, 24 through 27. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name, God says, on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. And so Fred Bucklew played the drums, which he's one of our drummers in our, in our praise band. He also played on Celebrate Recovery Monday night. He was there praising and glorifying God. And so this is the song that we ended the funeral with just yesterday. So we had a whole congregation receiving the blessing from Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter. People were glorifying and praising God in the midst of celebrating Kasi's homecoming. So it was a celebration. And so I have listened to this song. And again, I encourage you to get it. Sometimes I've listened to it three or four times in a row just because of the need for myself to worship and praise God. So the beauty and the power and the need to worship and praise God um, is a beautiful thing. And Psalms 100 reminds us of it. As always, celebrate recoveries and end with the serenity prayer. And you're familiar with it. Uh, Ryan Hart Niebuhr wrote this. And so celebrate recoveries all over the world uh, usually use this in some form almost every time they, we have celebrate recovery. The way we do it is we always end with the serenity prayer. I most of the time raise my hands or kind of reach out in a receiving way as I pray this prayer, and so I just remind you of it, and I'll close with this. God, grant me this serenity. And the word serenity means calmness or peace or tranquility. God, grant me this serenity, the peace, the calmness to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I mean, what a great prayer. I'm just going to live one day at a time because that's all we can anyway. Enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you, God, you, Jesus, will make all things right if, if, that's a big if, if I surrender to your will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. I just remind you, brothers and sisters, of the beauty, the beauty and the power and the need for worship and for praise. It makes a difference. Find some music. Find something that helps you worship and praise God. It'll be health to your bones. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God loves you. Keep on keeping on. In Jesus' name, amen.